Hi, this is uh, David Harmon from bygforum.com for a tutorial on uh, masking out images in Adobe Photoshop and then importing the layers into Adobe After Effects to use for whatever it is you want to use them for. For starters, I'm going to go ahead and use just a random screenshot from Halo 3. It's one of the high def ones that Halo 3 offers in the, in the theater mode start off with uh, just the quick easy mask because I'm just going over it quick with the tutorial. I mean you can go in a lot closer with other things but I'm just going to start with the lasso. It's just going to be quick and I mean you're probably going to want to do it better but you know I'm just trying to get this done and get it out to you guys. It's pretty much masking along. I mean the explosion here you know, around his arm whatever you want to include in this mask just it's going to be a lot easier doing it in here than importing into Adobe After Effects and masking in Adobe. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's kind of sloppy. So you're probably going to actually just want to add a feather to it. Just do about 30 pixels, and that'll give it a little bit of a blur to it, as you can see, like that. Just move it around. You can actually see the blur. I mean, it's easy, it's basic. Now you're going to want to make a new layer. Well, want to hit, click on this, and hit Control C, which will copy. And then when you go to make your new layer, Control V, and there's your layer. So it's actually kind of a cool render for maybe like a signature or something like that. And then I guess we'll just open up that same file. I mean, there's it's probably a lot easier way to do this than the way I just did it right there. I don't even need to say that. But uh, open up the original, and we're just gonna go ahead and take this piece and throw it back here I mean you're going to want to move the original layer on top so and then you're going to want to line them up and you really can't even tell that there was you cut it or anything I mean it looks like the same but instead you have two layers now I mean, I would go into more, maybe doing something with the gun flying and making it spin at the screen or something along those lines, but I'm just showing you uh, basically how to do it. We're just going to call this Halo Explosion Cutout. And now when we go to open up Adobe After Effects, we'll go to File, Import, File, Adobe Files, and then it'll be this right, the Halo. And instead of doing Merge, you're just going to want to switch it to the Composition, and that way you get all, you get both layers. So you got your layer 1 here, and your layer 2. There it is. So you got both in here. I mean, and now this is where you kind of want to use your layers. Have some fun with them, do whatever. Like you see, this is the background that layer two. Now layer one, you can take it, and I mean, you can add a new camera and set it up here. I mean, you're gonna want to make these this a 3D layer, and if you want to, you can um, actually just move the camera back a little bit. I mean, just mess with it. It's so, like the explosion comes out at you. I mean, just actually take this part of the explosion at you. You can just straight do whatever you want, and just you get camera movements going. Just have fun with it, pretty much. The camera will move with it. If you set them both to a 3D layer. You'll actually probably get a little bit better because it'll still it'll still it'll stay together, and that way when you actually do your scale and maybe you make the explosion come out at you kind of like almost like a kind of turns a still image into a 3D image with the layers so it's kind of coming at you and that's just something nice to do and that's pretty much the basics of masking in Adobe Photoshop and importing into Adobe After Effects thank you and I'll probably be making a couple more of these and goodbye